Hello students. In the previous videos, we discussed on one of the concept of surface chemistry, that is adsorption. Now let us discuss the another concept of surface chemistry, that is catalysis. Today we are going to introduce catalysis and its types. Catalyst word is quite familiar to you. As some reactions are slow, some reactions are fast. In order to speed up the reaction, we use some substance which is called as catalyst. So catalyst are the substance which increases the speed of reaction without being consumed in the reaction is called a catalyst. This phenomena of increasing the rate of reaction by the use of catalyst is called as catalysis. Let us recall some important characteristic of catalyst which we have already learned in the lower classes. That first point, it speed up the reaction. Second point, it does not shift the equilibrium which we have learned in the plus one. It does not change the enthalpy of reaction. It is required in very small quantity. It is highly specific. That means specific catalyst can catalyze specific reaction and it is not consumed in the reaction. That means at the end of the reaction, the catalyst will be found as it is. It is not consumed. Let us take one example. That's quite familiar example formation of ammonia when the nitrogen and hydrogen combines to form to form ammonia here in this reaction it is reaction is taking place in the presence of iron so what is the role of iron here because uh, there is no formation of any product in which iron is there that means the role of iron is only for increasing the rate of reaction because this reaction is slow in the absence of iron and so what is the role of iron here it increases the rate of reaction therefore it is a catalyst here so what about the use of molybdenum here why it is used it is called as a catalytic promoter promoter because the activity of a catalyst which is iron here is actually promoted by a substance which is called as catalytic promoter so the molybdenum here used is actually the activator of catalyst and which is called as promoter that means which promote the activity of catalyst is called as promoter so let us define the definition for promoters promoters are the substance that enhances the activity of the catalyst example molybdenum in the exam the one word question will be asked which is the promoter in the formation of ammonia so the answer is molybdenum and which one is the catalyst iron is the catalyst so as there are some substance which promote the activity of catalyst there are some substance which decreases the activity of catalyst and what we call the substance they are called as poisons that means catalytic poisons examples are sulfur arsenic and quinoline these are called as poisons so its word is clear what you mean by poisons and the promoters they have opposite rules one is increasing the activity the of catalyst the other one is decreasing the activity of catalyst classification of catalysis catalysis is classified on the basis of the physical state of catalyst and the reactant as homogeneous and heterogeneous catalysis let us discuss each with example let us consider one equation here a reaction between the sulfur dioxide and oxygen that means this is called as oxidation oxidation of sulfur dioxide gives sulfur trioxide 
and what is the catalyst used here NO that is nitric oxide is the catalyst here now look at the equation here in this equation when you find it out the physical state of a reactant which is with the reactant SO, SO2 is the reactant O2 is the reactant look at the physical state this is gases this also in the gaseous state and whatever the catalyst the catalyst is also in the gaseous state so all the reactants and catalyst are in the same phase that means it is in the gaseous phase so such catalysis is called as homogeneous homogeneous homo means similar same so they are in the same phase such catalysis is called as homogeneous catalysis take one more example in this equation that is the hydrolysis of sugar which is catalyzed by sulfuric acid when you look at the equation here the sucrose that is in the aqueous condition and uh, what that is water that is liquid liquid that means aqueous in the liquid state only we can find a aqueous condition so we can say that uh, all the reactants and the catalyst catalyst here is the H plus ion that means the proton donated by sulfuric acid is the catalyst here so all are in the same phase therefore it is called as homogeneous so homogeneous catalysis can be defined as when the catalyst is present in the same phase as the reactant it is called homogeneous catalyst and the process is called as homogeneous so the word is clear to us homo means same that means they are in the same phase catalyst and the reactants now look at this equation that is the formation of ammonia have a process in this uh, we can find that uh, the reactants are hydrogen and nitrogen hydrogen as we know it is in the gaseous state and nitrogen and hydrogen both are in the gaseous state but this reaction as we have discussed already the catalyst is the iron and iron is in the solid state that means the reactant and the catalyst are in different phase that means cat reactant are in the gaseous state and the catalyst is in the solid phase in such case uh, the catalysis is called as heterogeneous catalysis let us take one more example the hydrogenation of vegetable oil in the presence of finely divided nickel which act as a catalyst here oil is in the liquid state hydrogen is in the gaseous state and nickel that is the catalyst here it is in a solid state so that means all these are in a different phases so in such case we can say it is heterogeneous hetero means different so the phases of catalyst sorry the phase of catalyst and the reactants are different that is called as heterogeneous catalysis so let us define heterogeneous catalysis when the catalyst is in the different phase than the reactants it is called heterogeneous catalysis catalyst and the process is called heterogeneous catalysis so let us compare two heterogeneous and homogeneous homo means same hetero means different so when the reactant and catalyst are in the same phase then it is called as homogeneous and if it is in the different phase then it is called as heterogeneous one of the example we have discussed here that is oxidation of sulfur dioxide into sulfur trioxide the next example hydrolysis of sucrose here we have discussed the example that is manufacture of ammonia and hydrogenation of vegetable oil so these are the points you can differentiate in the homogeneous and heterogeneous catalysis now your homework is there are further two more examples in each in the textbook find out the examples 
write down in your notebook and differentiate these two in a column wise so that is all about this topic so in the next topic we'll be discuss on the we'll be discussing on the mechanism or the theories involved in catalysis so thank you everyone